Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori and today I am going to show you how to change your eyebrow. Now this means that the client wasn't happy with the arch that I put on the eyebrow so what I'm going to do is change it. Now, the problem with that is I've already sprayed this doll and contoured and shaded this doll with Mr. Super Clear and, of course, Pan Pastels. So, in order to change it, um, it's going to cause a line of demarcation from uh, this part of the doll and, you know, all the shading and, and everything. So what you want to do is you're want to, you're going to want to keep it like super super um how can I put this you want to keep it just on the part that you want to change. So we're going to do that first. We're going to go ahead and remove that arch right here that she wasn't happy with. She wanted a gentler face and I went a little bit hardcore on the arch. So let's just turn it this way and um, I have a little bit of acetone here it might take me a minute to kind of break through some of the uh, the MSC and everything because she's been she was finished and sealed completely and it wasn't like when you're working on these you're sealing them in between in between the job so it's not like I sealed it and then showed the client. This is just part of the project you have to seal in between. I mean, you guys know, you've seen how I work. So I'm going to take the arch off of the doll. So, so far it's not down as much as I want it to be. She wants a straighter, more gentle brow. Let me grab another one of these. I have these tiny, tiny, because I don't want to use something this big to remove it. It's going to spread too much acetone over the face. So at this point, I'm just doing a gentle repair. And you can see the line of demarcation that I'm creating doing this. So let me just keep bringing it down and taking my time. Because you know you can't rush it I'm not gonna take the entire eyebrow off I'm just gonna bring it down to the level to be able to redo it all right this actually should be enough okay so now you see I have um, I want to clean that up just a little bit with one more. I'll do the other one off camera, but I just want to kind of show this one. So here is the, here's that line I'm talking about between the color of the doll and this. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, um, I'm going to pause it and grab my next tool. Okay, so I just went ahead and removed this too. So now I have removed both of the eyebrows down to a level where I can make her face a little bit more gentle, less archy, more, I don't know, serene, ethereal, I guess. And that's my bad because I know this client and I know what she likes. And I just got a little archy. So this is a magic eraser. And the next step I'm going to do is buff the area so that I can make that line between the vinyl of the doll and the uh, where I've already done color a little bit less. So I'm just going to go ahead and buff that out. 
and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side since we're here. This is also a good way for you to remove excess color that you don't that you don't like. Also, get a brush. What am I doing? Let's get a big fluffy brush and uh, sweep off the excess. Okay. So you want to sweep off all that excess and uh, just keep on buffing. You just want to kind of smooth out the area without removing too much or anything. You know, you don't want to make a mess. The magic eraser is, is like um, a gentle sander. That's how you can look at these. They're like dry like this. They're like the finest sandpaper that you can get. And for a doll, that's awesome because you can kind of just sort of buff off imperfect imperfections without you know screwing her up too much okay so um i'm gonna buff it a little bit more and then i'm going to spray her with mr super clear and then start to uh, fill in that separation of the two colors blend them out. All right. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. So I have, I don't even know if I'm getting a good video of this because I'm at a weird lighting, but anyway, I've got some pan pastel here and I'm just going to go gently over the whole little area. And just to start to, uh, I don't even know what the word is, um, balance out the color, marry the two, clean up that demarcation line is my plan. So, sorry, I'm getting up in there and looking to make sure. I'm going to grab some color. And it might take a couple of layers to get what you want. But you can, you can get it cleaned up. There is something on my brush I don't like. I'll clean that off. Get some more of a lighter color. There we go. And you remember, if you've watched my other videos, but it's okay to be a little heavy handed on the lighter color because it fades away as soon as you spray it. So you need extra. Okay, so I'm gonna spray that. And do you see how it's in her eye right now? Of course you don't want that. And sometimes before I go spray it, just because I think this is a good thing to mention, is I'll take a little paintbrush. Let me grab one here, something clean clean paintbrush and some water. Let me brush it off. I don't want, I don't want the white to get on my work here. So I'm going to clean off whatever I may have accidentally dropped on this part of the repaint because I don't want that to, I don't want that to be a part of this. This part's already done, so. And then I'll just take a Q-tip and just dry it off. And that way when I spray it, it won't, it won't disrupt that part of the repaint, if that makes sense. Okay, so she's drying. I could use my blow dryer wherever it is. I'll just wait a second. You can still see the spray glow but it's starting to fade away. And I'm gonna do it again because I can still kind of make it out. And I just wanna make sure that I get it just right before I start redoing the eyebrows. Okay, so, is it dry?
honestly think for now that should be good enough. Make sure again with a wet paintbrush, you just wipe away anything that could have dropped onto your eyes and dry it off with a Q-tip. So just make sure that everything is fine. So I'm going to spray it again and then it'll be time, probably, unless I don't like it, it should be time to just go ahead and redo those eyebrows. Okay, and finally, we're going to get to the part where the repair takes place. So I'm using an Arteza Super Sharp pencil here in a dark brown, it's chocolate, and I am just going to start trying to lean in here, um, giving this eyebrow more of what she wanted, which is a gentler look, more of a straight brow. And I don't know if you can tell by looking at it, but because of the repair and all the spraying and everything, even though I tried really hard, I'm going to have to come back in here and repaint some of that black before my final sealing. And I'm using the, the, um, this here, and you can't see it, but I'm using this to kind of try to keep my fingers off of the doll. So anyway, I'm just going to go in and just gently give myself a guideline and then I'll go back in with paint, but I just kind of want to give it a guideline first before I do that. Okay, so you can see how I changed the mood of the doll. Um, and I have a picture of her, so I'll show a before and after at the end. The eyebrows are so expressive, and how they are put on can depend on what kind of attitude your doll has. So. This doll is also going to be wearing both a black wig and a blonde wig, which really put me in a, like a position of, okay, well, what do I do about the eyebrows? So uh, after consulting with the client, we decided on dark brown as a compromise between the two. And I think that that worked out just fine. All right, same thing over here. I'm going to lift up the brow here to give her a more gentle look and then what I'm doing over here is I'm making it more straight so um, a less exaggerated concerned Natalie Portman that's how I would uh, that's what I would call these brows <laughs> you know the part where She's very upset with Anakin. And her brows, her brows go like way up, very expressive brows. Some people have extra special brows to make them look more, even more expressive. It probably works really great for actors. Um, Khaleesi. Amelia Clark, very expressive brows. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of light under here just to kind of lighten that up a little bit because I will have to spray these again. Okay, so I think I'm close enough for paint. All right, time to paint.
I'm just going to go ahead and correct the gray out fading of the eyelashes. And I went ahead and grabbed my Carbon Black from Golden because for me it's my very favorite. And I'm going to do that and then I will be right back because I'm just going over them again. So it's nothing to see here, but I'm going to do that and then um, that pretty much will wrap it up. Okay, and that does it. I have darkened up her eyes so that the eyelashes stand out again. Her eyebrows are done. Hopefully the client will be more happy with this. But if she's not, I've left myself some room to make them a little bit bigger if she wants that. But uh, she is done. This is a Tonner Anora, but it was actually done by the Oh, gosh, I can't remember the company. I'll put it up on the screen because it's not coming to me right now. Air and Flynn or something like that. Finn and Air. I don't know. Arrow and Finn. Finn and Arrow. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Um, everybody, please be safe out there. And uh, I will see you in the next video. This was just going to be a short one so that I could show you how to fix eyebrows or any anything else that might happen on the face of your doll that you want to correct and don't know how you're going to go about that. That's it. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. I will see you next time.